Designation RA-195 Like Noctua Lacno Psychological Human Likeness 0.6 Affiliation Galactic Treaty The Lacnoctua, often abbreviated to Lacno, are a tall, mollusk like alien race with semi humanoid features. Biology The Lacno measure approximately 9 feet or 3 meters tall with a single foot for locomotion, much like a slug or snail. The torso and extremities feature a translucent light green exoskeleton, while the head is typically red. Lacno are bioluminescent, and the coloring of their features is individual-specific. Facial features include a protruding forehead, mouth below the chin ridge, and two bulbous black eyes. The Lacno possesses two double-jointed arms with three fingers and two pseudo-thumbs on each hand, allowing for a broader range of flexibility and tool use. The eyes of the Lacno have anomalous properties, acting as portals to an unknown energy source. While used generally to communicate, the eyes can also flash a sequence of colors in rapid succession, which will induce seizure-like effects, even in humans or aliens with no history of photosensitive epilepsy. In addition, the Lacno are innate psychics, possessing telekinetic abilities far exceeding the Zitapans. Technology As master psychics, the Lacno species can mold matter and energy as they see fit. Most technology includes telekinetic dynamos for general use power. Like the Zitapans, Lacnos can utilize the Ursa plane for FTL. This ability is exclusive to small one person pod ships, which, despite being unarmed, possess photorefractory capabilities to prevent visual contact. Perhaps their most impressive piece of technology comes in the form of their mothership, the Vimana. With the diameter spanning roughly the size of the Earth's moon, the massive ship is currently the only known vessel of its kind, leading researchers to speculate on the Lacno's potential status as an endangered species. However, though many Lacno's ambassadors, scientists, Scholars and priests have assisted the GRPC on numerous occasions and helped to elaborate on the Lacno species. Their origin has been kept a closely guarded secret among the higher ranks within the Vimana. It appears, it appears that the majority of their race is aboard the Vimana, and not inhabiting another planet permanently is unknown. As the idea of colonizing a planet, even one devoid of an existing sapient species, has seemed to be an unsettling topic for the Lacno to speak about during interviews, or even informal conversations with GRPC members. Because of this, it is unclear if the Lacno even possess the technology to properly colonize a planet of their choosing, if they one day wish to do so. History While not much about the origin of the Lacno is clear or available, one standing theory suggests that the Lacno originated from a foreign galaxy as an exploration team. They arrived in the Milky Way roughly 30,000 Earth years ago, there in the height of the Cayman Empire. Supposedly the first alien life the Lacno encountered were the Hopkins. The Lacno scribes referred to them as, quote, little gray wide-mouthed creatures, unquote, in their historical documents. A Hopkins bandit fleet raided the Lacnos' primary ship, the Vimana sacking its information hubs for schematics. The Lacno would have likely been wiped out on board their ship if it was not for the appearance of a Cayman battleship, who exterminated the attacking Hopkins as quickly as they left. Referred to by the Lacno as Xyphorophor, a mythical figure in Lacno folklore described in the same sense as a winged biblical angel. While a minor footnote to Cayman's, this battle would shape the Lacno outlook on all life in the galaxy. Over the next couple thousand Earth years, Lacno would silently explore the galaxy, collecting data from the minor to the major. First official contact with the Lacno would occur in 1952 CE, Flatwoods, West Virginia, when two Lacno twins were mistaken as hostile invaders by the newly founded anti xeno Task Force, Blue Book, which led to their capture and eventual death along with most inhabitants on Earth during Ember's Day. This event would sour human-lacno relations pre-Ember Day. However, 
After the post Embers Day event, humanity status of the GT race has shifted to lack no perception of mankind. Culture and Psychology The Lachno are a hyper intelligent species, and will actively seek knowledge, wisdom, and even spiritual enlightenment, speculated by the GRPC to be a genetically inherited trait within their race. While not aggressive or expansionist, the Lachno will kill mechanical or biological lifeforms that put their lives in danger, though negotiations will be preferred if available to them. The Lachno possess a picture perfect memory. Information learned is never forgotten. Cross-species communication is a fundamental trait expected of all Lachno seeking to leave Vimana. Government and Religion Highly religious, as they are intelligential, the Lachno had formed a cult-like pseudo-religion over the Kaiman species, referring to them as angels in their language, believing them to be warrior guardians. The formerly pacifistic Lachno have since embraced the value of aggressive action for the purpose of safeguarding others in their culture, which has been passed on to younger generations of teaching, though passive behavior is still highly valued as more important than aggression. From these teachings, the V-Mana is often compared by the GRPC, the Old Earth Temples, as the Lachno had no official form of government or monarchy, but instead teachers and scholars that passed on their knowledge to young fledglings. The Lachno Council of Ba is the closest form of a leadership that the species has aboard the Vimana. Roles and Positions When a Lachno comes of age, they're required to join one of four sects above the Vimana. Ba, Overseers of Vimana, and Voice for the Lachno species. Superior ranked Ba members are legible to join the Council, while lesser Ba members serve as ambassadors. Ru, Guardians of the Young who guide others on the path to spiritual enlightenment regarded as the priest of the Vimana. Shiv, explorer scholars for the vast library and keepers of Vimana, also regarded as the missionaries of the Lachno. Kai, psychic defenders of the Vimana and the Lachno species. Though the Lachno have no official army, the Kai are expertly trained in many psychic and psionic abilities, making them versatile warriors even against other psychic opponents. Diplomatic Procedures the Vimana is a sacred and forbidden vessel to all non Lachno species. Kaimen are apparently the only exception, though there has been no no notable direct interaction with the Kaimen and the Vimana as of yet. Though the Lachno are not purposely hostile toward other Psycores and GRPC members, all care is to be taken as to not provoke an aggressive response or to ridicule their religious practices. Protective eyewear is to be worn at all times when in the vicinity of several Lachno to avoid seizures. It is customary to allow the Lachno ambassadors to speak first and allow their objectives to be noted before any further interaction is initiated. 